Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to see how we can create our own extension and we are going to upload that extension on Chrome and Microsoft Edge browser as well. So for that we basically require three main files. One is manifest.json where we have all our metadata for that extension and HTML file and one JavaScript file where we write all our functions. So without any further ado let's begin this video. So I'm going to use my favorite ID VS code you can use any ID or even a notepad if you want so now we are going to create a folder basically a project so I will choose file and then create a new folder and in the desktop I am going to just type in random words so basically we are going to create a extension that will provide us a random word like whenever we click on that extension it will give us random word from one API we are going to see how we are going to fetch that data from API in a further few minutes. Now we are going to create all our files. So first I will create index.html where we have our HTML code, the ma main view of that extension and then our JavaScript file script.js where we will type in our functions, JavaScript functions and we are going to call the API and then manifest.json where we have our metadata of the extension so in the html i will just give exclamation mark and then press enter it will give a sample layout of the html now i can update this i can change the title just type in random words or anything and also i need to import that script file our js file script.js that also we need to import that so i will just type in the script tag and inside that I will just type in src and provide the path of that so script.js since we are in same path so we I will just provide script.js and in the h1 tag I will just provide in sample text that we will see in the browser now we will open our folder which we have in the desktop the random words folder so now here you can see in the desktop we have our random words folder inside that we have html file index.html we will open that in chrome here you can see sample text is displayed so now this is the sample html page we need some function as well because we are going to fetch random word from one api so we need that api also to fetch the random word so for that I will just type in in the browser random word API or random word generator API you can type anything like that so here you will get the random word API here you can see there are mainly these two APIs one is with the extension all and another one is with slash word so in case of all we are going to get all the random words that it has this API has so there are a list of lot of words but we require just a single random word so for that we will use this second api which will just provide a random word so we will create our javascript function function get word or we can name it anything and inside that we will use javascript default function fetch and here we will provide our api api url basically so we will provide that api and then we can use dot then like to get the response from that so we are going to pass that response in the json format so for that we have res.json and then we have again from that json we are going to fetch a that particular word so i will just type in dot then and then that word so for now just log in that specific word and let's see what we are going to get and also we need to provide like a catch statement maybe if there is any error so to handle that we will just provide in catch and then error and then log that error so here now we need to call this function so we will just type in get word and then now we are going to open our browser in the browser just open your inspect element you can drag that inspect element in the bottom like this and here in the console you can see when I refresh the page you can see here we have our data that specific random word is here but it is in the form of array so we need that particular word so for that we need to get the arrays 0th index 
so since you know array is basically zero indexing so we will fetch the zeroth record and here you can see in the browser console we have that particular word so this same word we need to print in the extension so basically here where the sample text is displayed there we need to display that word the random word now in the manifest.json we will just type in the metadata such as the name and other things like versions so basically we need to provide a name to our extension that we can provide under the name and the version with this we can give like since our first version is this so we will just type in 1.0.0 and then in the description we can provide a specific description which we want to give to our extension so let's say our extension is for the random words we can just simply give this will generate a random word every time or anything like that and in the manifest versions here we can provide manifest version as two or three so here like we can use three and in the author we can provide the author of this extension so basically when we upload this extension in the google chrome or microsoft edge or if you want to publish this extension so in that case this author is required like who is the author of the extension who have created this so for that we have just provide techie ak and then we need to have the actions so in the action this is basically what our extension will be like so when we click on the extension it will have a pop-up so for that we have default underscore pop-up and in that we have provided our html file index.html and after that we have default title so we need to give the title to our extension so that we will give a random word so we'll just save this file and in the index.html you can see here under the h1 tag we have sample text and that was displayed in the browser so we need to change this because we don't want like uh, only sample text is displayed so we will provide id we can give any random id or we can just provide id random underscore word the same id we need to use in our script file as well so basically in that particular id only our word will be displayed so where the sample text was displayed instead of that a random word will be displayed whenever we click on the extension so for that we in the then we can just provide document dot get element by id and then dot inner text and we can have it as that word the zeroth index of that data and in the index dot html you can see the sample text is here so when we reload this a random word is generated here but you can see the sample text was displayed there for few nanoseconds so to remove that we can just provide loading so it will display as loading and then that particular random word will be there so here you can see that is generated now in our manifest.json we can see all our metadata is still there so that's fine now we are going to upload this extension so for that we will go to this chrome three dots in the top right corner more tools and then extension inside the extension we can unlock that developer tool and then you can choose load unpack so in that basically we need to choose our folder our extension folder so since our extension folder have manifest.json so it will assume it as an extension and now once all the uploading is done then you can see the extension is created and now if we click on the extension icon here you can see a random word is getting generated every time when we click on that extension so that was basically like how we can create and upload our extension in the chrome browser basically now we are going for the mozilla edge so for that we will just go to the microsoft and in the three dots or in the settings we can just find the extension and over there we can just select our folder so from the manifest.json it will like assume it as a extension so it will upload that and here you can see our extension is displayed random words which was the title of of our extension here you can tag that extension in this menu bar also basically the taskbar so yeah so since we have uploaded the extension now whenever we click on this extension a random word will be generated 
so that's how basically you can create your own extension and upload that we can also publish this on the uh, google or anywhere so that's how we can create the extension if you like this video please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos